Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you all? Uh, hope you are all safe and sound at home. Um, yeah, I'm really glad and happy to be here to give this, this introduction to, to Inner Source. So this is part of a two hour session. So I hope you, you enjoy this and well, hope to hope, hope you have some really great, great questions. So let's start from the very beginning. What is Inner Source? So the, the basic definition here is that uh, Inner Source is the use of open source best practices uh, for software development within the confines of an organization. So it's about bringing all of this way of working internally, I mean, externally in open source in terms of cultural approach, processes, tools, et cetera, into the way software is developed internally at, at corporations. And why is, this, uh, why is this necessary? Why is this inner source so important nowadays? So the point is that if we think about how large corporations are working, Nowadays, this is this is what we see. Those are silos, and and basically, what happens is that we have silos of development, silos of knowledge, uh, that are seen once and again in different geographical distributions, right? So basically, large corporations are producing once and again the same software or pretty similar software. Um, if we look around and we say, okay, who else is dealing with this issue? Basically, open source communities, open source projects have been producing really great quality software for the last years. Um, so this is where large corporations should, should learn from, right? Um, some benefits. Um, so if we have more eyes looking at the code, basically we are spreading the knowledge of what, what else others are doing. We can increase the code quality because we, we are going through certain code review processes or we are having some uh, continuous integration or even continuous delivery, right? Um, of course, if there are more people joining, we are scaling our, our teams, we are scaling our uh, development teams, we are decreasing our time to market. First, because we are faster doing development, we have more hands and then we have more eyes having a, uh, having a look at it. Then uh, it's all about innovation. So developers, let's say, are empowered to, to try things, to fail. It's very important to fail indeed, to see, hey, what's going on here? I, I, I would like to try this new technology, which is uh, really useful to solve this problem and this other, right? And in somehow we are in, in that way, decreasing the development and maintenance cost because we are doing things as automating stuff. We are automating processes, right? So we are using the tools that we are used to, uh, to manage in, in open source. And of course, if we have uh, developers solving problems, if we have developers dealing with engineering and perhaps even forgetting about bureaucracy and, and paperwork, we have a higher engagement, right? Um, that's from the organization uh, point of view, employees benefits. Um, we won't have only people dealing with technology in, in a daily basis. We don't have, we don't want to have people that are just executing, right? We want people to think about what they are doing. And in this way, we are increasing the, let's say the adoption of other skills, soft skills perhaps, because developers need to focus on teaching others. Developers need to spend certain time building even internal communities and so on. So there are other skills, right? That we can, uh, we, we can improve ourselves as engineers. We, we will have more dynamic environments. Again, we go for the for this idea of innovation as we are letting others to innovate. We, we are just trying things, right? And we are developers, we, we like to solve problems. So we reach a, a point in time where we are empowering ourselves to do things, right? So we are allowing developers to, to make those decisions. And hey, stop here, inner source is not open source. And yeah, that's true, but let's keep going in the talk. So. There are similar principles. So we are talking about a cultural change, right? So we, we are moving from ways of developing and producing knowledge that we are hiding something and then I have, I have certain, certain power, right? Into a model where if we serve knowledge, then we can increase our merits in front of the rest of the people. So we are, we are, we are walking that path in somehow. And for this, we need, uh, we need certain improvements, right? So we need to, to have, uh, open communication, and if we have this open communication, that means a certain level of transparency because that communication uh, can be reached out by anyone in the community. Um, if we have uh, that transparency, we'll see that there is certain collaboration, right? So people have opinions, and people, as they have opinions, they will go to the main list, to the uh, any communication channel we have internally, and will say, hey, I have this idea here, what if, right? If we start fostering this collaboration, then 
we are what we are doing in the end is creating communities and then at the very end we have this concept of, of meritocracy this is not this is not my idea this is probably something that sounds familiar to you which is based on the apache way and by the apache software foundation of course um, and this is something that open source is used to work in certain ways but internal development or corporations they are not that used to work in this way so we have certain principles and then we have our own path uh, uh, and this is a really kind of quick of piece of advice right so we may we may deal with tools we may deal with processes we may deal with people and culture in, in general but the the general path or recommended path is to start first with people and culture just because they are uh they don't feel comfortable perhaps because people don't feel uh, empowered to do certain things and then once we all think that we are behaving in a certain uh, in, in a certain culture way then we can start dealing with the process improving the process starting with code review processes how to review each other you know uh these things make us may bring certain friction into development teams and that's why it's so important to first think hey we are doing this all together we are a team we need to move forward right and then at the very end we have the tools so technology is probably the first thing we think of but uh, probably is, is kind of the very last thing that we need to think of when dealing with inner source and in general when working in open source right open source is about people it's not it's about technology as we are producing some piece of software right but it's mainly about communities and people and creating networks and so on um so now let's go up to this point let's imagine the following scenario so let's imagine that we have all of the developers in a corporation um, and they all know how to produce how to collaborate internally in in, in this first case but in a collaborative way using modern tools code review continuous integration etc etc and they all feel comfortable so they are working in a more open source way how far are we now to effectively contribute to open source so this is how i see this this, this is probably uh, uh how we are really really close just a click away to say and now we can produce open source because if we think how open source is produced nowadays um in, at least internally in corporations we need to go third we need to go through uh certain steps like uh, security legal marketing etc etc but what if we have the, the source code the community the people with the necessary skills ready to go so we are this close if if we have inner source right um so inner source is not easy it's mainly a cultural change as i mentioned but we are not alone so please go to the inner source commons uh, the goal here in the community, and um, this is an open community, we are working in an open source way. Um, we are producing pieces of knowledge that you can you can reuse. There is a YouTube channel, we have some links at the end. Uh, so we are we are establishing a body of knowledge and, and we are educating individuals, commercial and non-profit organizations uh, about the successful adoption of inner source best, best practices. So this is the mission of the of the of the foundation, let's say. And then there is one rule, only one rule. And this means that, uh, and this is why the reason for this is that we try to create safe environments. So the goal, the goal is we all meet there as uh, coming from different companies, but we don't like bad press, right? So Chatham have rule is, well, I can use that information, but I cannot say who said what. So in that way, we are creating this safe environment where we'll all feel comfortable sharing information. Uh, some uh, preferences, there are some uh, documents that you can, uh, you can use, there are some books at innersourcecommons.org. Um, well, please join the community, join the discussions, and uh, you are more than welcome to join us there. So this is all for this first 101. Thank you for your time. Thanks very much, Daniel.